Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Thank you so much for your previous likes, comments and subscriptions to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, why not click on that button and ring the bell so you can get notifications of whenever I'm dropping content on the channel. And now onto the topic of this video, and we're into week two of the castle era already. So this video is all about just keeping up to date with what's going on this week in the event. And also I'm going to be covering some of the season contest event stuff as well as we're into day two of um sx13 eden conquer so let's get straight into it the main thing that everyone noticed yesterday you click on this icon and we have oracle compacts um you only get 120 in the pack uh it's gone up in price here in the uk because the pound is horrendously low record lows against the dollar so for all us brits um the cost of playing the game has gone up even more uh, but enough about global economics and how bad our government is. Um, look, I, I, I get, a lot of people were hopeful last week that the fact that the these packs weren't in from day one, that there this might be the kind of the way forward with this Castle Era event, and that people would actually have to grind together. I didn't really believe that was ever going to be the case, but I was hopeful that we wouldn't get these packs so soon. It, uh, like at least wait until the end of the Castle Era event. You know, everyone's going to still need to upgrade their castles um, after the event still. So, but they've come in right now. Um, if you just look at the cost of it all, I mean, you need just over, I think it was 10,000 or a Calcum to get to level 27. So I think that works out in here in the uk that's about 900 pounds if these packs are over 11 pounds each um that's just for level 27 obviously it's going to get more expensive as we go i'm guessing it's going to be potentially around ten thousand uh, dollars to upgrade all the way from 27 to 30 but um, that is a complete guess i haven't been given any information from the devs on this um in fact um the information i was given was that they were going to uh, my contact was going to try and uh, delay the release of the packs so um, that went well didn't it um, so that's it's a shame that yet another element is monetized of course and I know that a lot of people um, are considering whether they're going to play on beyond this season because it's just another huge expense for them on top of everything else that we've got to buy enough about that let's look at Castle Era week two so into the showdown menu and you can see that we do have tasks again so ultimate jewel is back 75 tasks again so far it looks like the same as last week um what it does mean is that you can at least reach level 20 on the showdown event uh, which obviously gives you 190 fragments of alfred why not just make it a nice round 200 and you get, get a copy of him i don't know uh, but you get 860 or a calcum from that um on top of like the extras that you're getting from the other rewards as well it's close to what 2000 or a calcum for the whole event um so it's not bad you get a five day building speed up as well at level 18 which i fear we're probably going to need with some of these higher level buildings that we're now encountering in the game um i'm i i would expect that on day four they're going to have super recruitment ticket event requirements again probably 20 or 30 tickets again well just it's, it'll be 30 tickets again don't forget even though this thursday will be a seasonal hero recruitment thursday in previous versions of these type of events you haven't been able to use your tickets on those it's only on the original basic super recruitment banner so again it's really not worth spending tickets on that banner to get 60 fragments of, Al of Alfred and only 50 Orichalcum. If this was 10 times more, then I would say it, it's worth it. But it, right now, it's it's not going to be. Um, how is my castle doing? Well, I am at level 26. I'm working towards level 27, so I've upgraded an iron mine to level 26, which meant that I could upgrade... Uh, my iron storage four to level two uh, which i needed to do both of those things so that I, I could upgrade my stable to level 26 so i've done those few things um for today and there's uh hit, i've hit nine chests on building day for the first time in a long time still got to do training house tavern uh and just build up my auric halcom in general uh, just a quick note on my 
um, resource requirements and building times. Don't forget guys, I do have Mr. Castle Builder in my account. So Castle Builder does have some really good benefits in terms of uh, reducing the building resource cost by 20% on his sixth skill, not including the gold. Uh, and he does increase building speed by 30%. Uh, if you have him unlocked on the seventh and eighth skills, he's gonna recruit, um, increase, improve that building speed and the, reduce the cost even further as well. Um, but those are the reasons why mine, my totals might look a bit different to yours. Um, going back into the castle era, of course, we have Arthur, our exclusive event hero. Um, most of you should have got at least one copy of him, probably three or four copies now. Um, but of course, he does require a total of 34 copies. Um, what I've heard from some people who, some spenders that have maxed him already or got close to maxing him, um, is that his skills do activate quite frequently just still very early days in terms of um, combos and things like that for him and how effective he is. But um, we'll have to wait and see. I still don't think he's like a top level five star, totally OP, must have hero anyway for those of you that aren't getting him. Um, but we'll have to wait and see what the devs do with him. You know, they do have this tendency to um, either tweak or um, nerf a hero as well. So it's... I'm not gonna give kind of any conclusions on him just yet. Also, we have the Lighthouse, so Miraculous Lighthouse, so we everyone's been kind of upgrading this. There was an issue with players getting level three rewards from upgrading from level two to level three. They were getting the level three to level four rewards. Um, is that right, or two to three, sorry, um, which shouldn't have happened. And I think that was rectified. A few people were asking about that. I could have obviously unlocked it before then but I wanted to do it on the video so let's have a look at this next stage so this upgrades your walls in your account as you can see and the first stage was just the path so you're going to get a hundred hammers 270 auric alchem and a oh some okay some okay resources so that's um stage two so yeah sorry it was it was some people were completing stage two and getting the stage three rewards which isn't the case so uh for those of you looking at this now um just the 86 days building time just just those 86 days this is for stage three so you can imagine what stage four and stage five are going to be like and um rewards for stage three you will get the drifting sailboat and you'll get 3,900 oricalcum quite a lot of resources actually that's the most resources I've ever seen in some rewards 48 million iron wow um, of course I'm, it's going to cost you a ton to upgrade everything and, you, and the other condition castle level 29 so almost certainly um, stages 4 and 5 of the lighthouse are going to require you to be at castle level 30 uh, looking at this time frame, you know, obviously the devs are not anticipating players like free to play players getting to level 29 within less than three months. So uh, that's just, I'm, I'm guessing that's just a rough guide. I'm, I'm Again, I'm kind of theorizing there. So that is kind of castle era. We still do have, of course, the savages. Make sure you're working on those, um, attacking those level 35 gales those level 40 zoltons uh zoltans get you know get yourself get as much oricalcum from those as you can every day um because that's the primary uh way of obtaining oricalcum really uh on a day-to-day -day basis and um obviously they've still got this image for the stronger army but we you have to be level 30 to unlock that tech so let's not dwell on that on to season contests so we're in day two of the season. The devs have kind of put together this season contest interface. Um, we've got the Wish Crystal event, um, which is just another one of these. It's just a, the same as before, really. You collect a consumer, you have to pay for a consumable. It is premium only, pay to win only. Um, in this instance, you're going to be purchasing these Wish Crystals. So, um, for those of us here in the UK, 110 is going to cost us 
111 pounds they're almost one pound each basically and uh, when you use a crystal then you basically have a certain level of chance of getting these um, vouchers so uh, if you get if um, you've got a 7.25% chance of getting just the one voucher, 14.49% to get two, 36.23% to get three vouchers, 17.39% to get four, etc. etc. Once you've got the voucher, these vouchers, um, then you can also use the exchange shop. Um, there is also the chance to get one random uh, reward each time you're using a wish, uh, which does include the chance to get 99. Um, vouchers which would be obviously the best case scenario but it's going to be very low chance like one percent probably if we go into the exchange shop then it's 200 vouchers to get the above the cloud castle skin uh, this skin is going to give you an extra 10 percent army might and defense uh, an extra 1.5 percent permanent extra siege might and two percent extra cavalry, cavalry siege defense resistance and very specific stats there um, but none of it are, are, you know, the most key stats. Um, 200 vouchers, I think I've kind of done the randomly. If you, if you think really realistically, you're going to get an average of three vouchers per one uh, wish crystal, then um, you, I think this is going to be reasonably cheap, maybe like 50 to 80 pounds, depending on how lucky you are. And then if we, and then the premium kind of item skin for the event is Thrilling Fight. This is going to get you an extra 10% on your army might, 10% on army defense, an extra 1% on army HP, an extra 1% sing siege attacker HP, and an extra 3% on your archer might. So that's a uh, reasonably premium castle skin. It's 1400 vouchers. So, you know, usually these are going for what, around 400, 450 pounds for those of us here in the UK, I would expect. Um, those are the kind of two headline items in the event they also have other exchange items available so like fight you can get five super recruitment tickets um even up to 30 one batch of 30. some war badges some um courage medals you can get three copies of alfred which are only 60 vouchers so i presume that um if anyone's trying to max alfred this could potentially be a good way to get another three copies of him uh, quite quickly troops construction materials uh wisdom medals also in there you know usually you wouldn't see construction materials in there but i guess they've kind of packaged this together as a seasonal contest event so that is wish crystal we've also got crack the puzzle now this is this is available initially to all players um you've just got to complete these tiles and it's 15 different quests we've kind of seen similar tile based picture based events before um, you complete well let's have a look at the info unlock a piece of the puzzle by completing a quest tap to see the quest info and rewards complete a row or column to claim the corresponding rewards after completing all the quests and the entire puzzle you'll get the jackpot so you know you complete the three tiles here by doing um, hourly challenge rewards six times um, helping alliance members 200 times and completing 40 quests at the white crow that will give you a super recruitment ticket which i've already claimed as you can see the one issue with this event for me is that it does have a certain element of premium pay to win in it because you've got to get 2000 gems in purchases which will unlock uh, quest 5 5.3 which is this bottom right hand one um, and obviously you can't win the jackpot if you don't pay for that you're only getting three super recruitment tickets and five hours of speed ups so i wouldn't even say and obviously if you're a spender you're going to get it that's fine but if you're a free to play player or you're a small spender it's not worth it's not worth doing a 2000 gem pack really um depends what you're going to spend your money on surely you'd probably spend your money on alliance cup i don't know but the, you can get a couple of super recruitment tickets you can get this you can get this column here and this row here in the event so at least there's a couple of super recruitment tickets for everyone as well i guess um Dragon's Crypt. So it's still on Dragon's Crypt. And um, if we have a look in the info, use Dragon Scales to participate in the event. Again, it's premium pay to win only. Um, we, there's no way to accumulate Dragon Scales for free to play players. The number of Dragon Scales you need in each draw will gradually increase. Each reward only appears once you are able to get all the rewards in 12 draws. And they have now included in this ex this selection option that so previously it was just 
a copy of Alfred, but now you can see they've added in other heroes like Elk, Sakura Blossom, Datch, Avalanche, Lawman, Warhammer, Liberator, Hellfire. Now, this is another way for players to get absolute guaranteed copies and as a spender this might be appealing to you particularly in the younger states uh, you know picking up a copy of hellfire or warhammer um, avalanche lawman those are all i would probably grade as uh, five star must must have heroes sakura earlier in the game also very important hero even now many many people use her in one in like a defensive combo for instance um, Elk, not so important. Datch, also not so important. Liberator, yeah, he's okay. Not amazing. So it's an interesting change that they ha are giving you the option to select a specific hero. Um, I guess if you're a spender, that's going to appeal to you. Um, and then, of course, back into here, we have the season bundle, which is just your different options available to you to purchase. So uh, still these packs with construction materials are available for spenders uh, and they've called it now the hot season bundle section in the dis discount store and then we do have a cumulative bonus event as well which they're calling season bonuses um, you need to purchase 20,000 gems so what's that like $125 pack or £100 well £111 pack now here in the UK um, and your reward for that you'll get 200 fragments of Alfred so that's another copy of Alfred I guess again as he's guaranteed it's it's reasonably okay i mean because you're spending the same amount as you'd usually spend for 30 super recruitment tickets right uh, which would very rarely get you a guaranteed hero that you're after so if you look at it the, from that point of view it's not bad value for money you're getting 8,000 war badges um 100 words of truth as well a bit of construction materials 4,000 courage medals which are expensive as well so i guess overall the fact that you just have to get twenty thousand gems again if you're a spender that's a, obviously they're making it appealing it's a pretty good offer to you so that's all of season contest that's it for the content i wanted to cover in this video guys so much going on i'll be honest i really hate having so much on the screen it's just getting weight like all of these you've got dragon's crystal the uh, the wish crystal sorry dragons create the wish crystal then castle era then all on this side you know you've got reign of chaos you've got your season contest icon your alliance cup icon i can this is i would love an option they need to do an option people have been asking where you can actually just minimize all of this get rid of all of this and just have your original icons like we used to have because it's taking up so much of your actual viable playing space and if you're uh, you know playing on a small screen that can make a difference particularly if you're going to be doing battles in eden you know doing k at the weekend this is actually just an obstruction to your ability to play the game efficiently um, so i really really hope they look into this and, and try and do something about giving us an option to minimize that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching um, if you have any comments about the content that i've covered please do put them in the comment section down below is everyone enjoying Castle Era? What are your thoughts on the progression of the castle to level 30 and things like the lighthouse? Uh, do you think it's taking too long? Is it kind of, would you, are you happy that it's a bit of a grind again for people? It's giving people a new focus in the game. I'd be interested to hear what you think. And of course, if you could please share this video and my channel in your Alliance Chat Province chat for those of you in Eden on your guild maps and chats, uh, that would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you use Line, WhatsApp, Viber, Discord. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.